Okay, it's finally time for the Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation Tutorial. And what I like about this foundation is it's very, very beautiful coverage. Evens out the skin, it looks natural, and you can wear it on high definition television. Um, if you're a makeup artist and you need foundations for your kit, I highly suggest you contact Makeup Forever, ask them about the Makeup Artist Program, and get a bunch of these. Um, I think they come in 25 colors. They are just an amazing quality and this is how I use it okay so you start with your moisturizer um, for me as an oily girl I do a few extra steps so if you're oily you might want to take this into um, into play um, I have a few blemishes on my face still uh, minor blemishes dark spots so as you know I use juice beauty blemish clearing serum so I apply that on my face um, first and then I applied moisturizer, which today was just cocoa butter. Uh, and then I go ahead and use Makeup Forever All Matte, which is a gel-based um, product. Interesting story. I was at, so I'm going to apply that now onto my skin with my brush that I can never find. I want to use, I want to use my Billy B brush, but okay. So I'm apply it to my skin. Um, yeah, interesting story. I was backstage at Reem Acra for New York Fashion Week. I was wearing this um, foundation. And I loved it in the hotel room. It looked really, really good. And um, I get backstage. And the only people left that I have to meet in this world. Well, not necessarily. But on the highest of high on my list. Mickey Taylor and the Essence Beauty team. Um, they're back there shooting and I am going crazy, right? In my head, my head, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, it's Mickey Taylor, it's Mickey Taylor. Like you you just I mean, as an essence reader and as a as a beauty editor at heart, to see Mickey Taylor, if you don't know Mickey Taylor, Google her, get on Essence.com, you will see her. Um and then, you know, the rest of the beauty team, the rest of the beauty team wasn't there. Tasha Turner and Pamela Edwards and everything. But I was just floored to see her back there. And I also met some other members of the team. And I was terrified because, you know, I was just nervous. I was just nervous. But I met them with confidence and all that, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, I get to lunch with a friend about an hour later and I realized my face is oil slick. It was so dirty and gross because I'm jumping from the subway and I'm running and I'm trying to get all the stuff, you know, done and trying to get backstage and blah, 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 blah. So it was gross. So I met one of my idols, my mentors, my inspirations in the, in the, in the beauty editor um, area and I looked a hot mess. That was embarrassing. So now I know all met. Use an oil controlling agent first. I did not do that. So this is my foundation. I'm number 175. Um, in, in, in studio, well, in MAC terms, I am NC50 cream, and then I put NW43 on top. So, um, like I said, there's 25 shades, very detailed. I don't um, know all the conversions, so I'm, but, but go online. You can definitely um, see a lot of the different ways and products and all that good stuff. They have a place where they have each model like by face tone and the number that they are and you can try and identify yourself so that's cool so i'm gonna use number 175 i just put on the palm of my hand like this i'm actually gonna use a kabuki brush and apply it you can use your regular foundation brush use your mac 190 109 do whatever you want to do i just um couldn't find my 109 i tried a kabuki and i liked it this is a smashbox kabuki i'm not saying it's the best kabuki brush that there is but it's just what i had so, I'm going to apply it onto the face. And hopefully you guys can see this coverage. I really liked how it turned out with the Kabuki brush. So, very, very even, very soft. So, that's one side. And keep going. It was such an amazing time at Fashion Week. I got to hang out with Billy B. We went 
to um, the Mac Pro store, and we had lunch at a diner, and, um, you know, I worked backstage with him. I didn't actually work. He invited me to do makeup, and needless to say, I slightly punked out. I lost a little bit of my confidence, but at the same time, it, it was more of me thinking, I'm a beauty editor, I gotta get this, get the look, understand it, take pictures, report it, that was kind of the thing. So, um, I worked with Johnny Lavoie and met a ton of pro artists, Johnny Lavoie is so fine, by the way, four models, he works with four models of hair for them, and he's delish, absolutely delish, but yeah, so anyway, this is the look. So I was at Mac Makeup Forever, the boutique on, um, I think it's 12th Street, East 12th Street. Um, don't quote me on that, but they do have an awesome program. They had awesome um, products and the whole high definition wall was beautiful. Just all the foundations stacked up and there's still more foundations to come. So it's awesome. So this is the look of the, the foundation. Very natural. It has, when I have a light on me and just to see the way the light hits certain points is great. Um, it's a gorgeous foundation and I really, 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 really like it. And honestly, I've, I've gotten rid of a few of my other foundations because I love what this one does. So not gotten rid of them. I just don't use them anymore. I've kind of, um, phased them out. So next I'm going to use the powder. This is actually a smaller version. It was a little sample that I got, but this, um, powder is phenomenal. And like I said, Kevin Bennett. Um, I think he's now the director of makeup artistry. I think that's his title. Kevin, I'm sorry if I butchered it. Um, but one thing that he said that sold me, which I told you, was that this gets rid of the shine on your skin without making you look, um, matte. So, I'm just going to apply this all over. And I love what this does. I mean, it's an awesome powder. I've used it over... All of my foundations, not just my Makeup Forever foundations. I'm using the Billy B brush number one for this, the powder brush. And applying it. So this is Makeup Forever foundation. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Oily girls, don't forget to use a matting agent. Um, if you don't want to use a high definition powder, use um, a powder that gets rid of shine, MAC Blot Powder. Um, or anything like that to keep shine at bay. Um, but other than that, this is a pretty good foundation. I really, really like it. You can find it at Sephora locations. You can go to the Makeup Forever Boutique in New York and definitely play around. There are also primers that go with this. And there is, for brown girls, there's a caramel, I mean a dark, like a deep brown caramel color which when I put it on my hand, it kind of darkened me up. So I think if you're a little darker than the 175, that'll be good. Kevin Bennett used the caramel color on me because he couldn't find that chocolate color. And it worked out pretty well. Even on my skin, it was very, very um, pretty. I won't say that that particular one is essential for brown girls. You could probably get away with using the regular clear one as well. Everyone can use the clear one. It just preps the face gets the face ready for the foundation will make it last a little longer um honestly I'm not a big primer fan but I I was pleased with the difference that I had uh so if you you have um problem skin or if you primers just play with it I would go to the counter and play with it and and see how you like the way it feels makeupforever.com you can get all the details on the high definition foundation they have presentations and whatnot there and sephora.com you can get a whole write-up on it there so i hope you enjoyed i'm going to turn the light off so you can see what it looks like in just daylight and i love makeup forever high definition foundation and powder good stuff so i'll have some more videos for you soon i missed you guys got a new camera all of you that donated send me a message so i and with your email address in it please because i need that okay thank you so so much guys i'll see you soon Bye bye